Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to cut out hair for or anything from the background of your photo in Affinity Photo. So let's say that I want to remove and change the background of this photo without having to lose a single strand of hair of this model because as you can see there's a lot of small details on the hair part so it's not that hard all you have to do is to use refine edges or refine mask let me show how it's done so I'm going to use this photo that I found on Asplash as an example I'll put the link in the description just click on it to download this photo or you can use any photo that you like Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. First, open up Affinity Photo and import your photo. Then, select the model using selection tool. So when you want to select the hair or fur part, you don't need to exactly follow the, the edges of the object, just select somewhere near the edges okay like this just follow along the edges because we can fix the selection later and it will also save your time selecting And after we have done with the selection, go to select, then refine edges. And it will open up this refine selection tab, or you can mask this layer and it will remove the background as you can see. Then right click on the mask layer and refine mask. It will also open up this refine selection tab. So it's up to you how you want to open this refine selection tab. Okay. So here we have preview. You can change the preview to overlay, black matte, white matte, black and white and transparent. Okay. I'm gonna go with black matte. And this matte edges, it automatically separate the foreground and the background of the edges as you can see it's selected by default but when you turn it off it doesn't follow the edges of the image which is maybe useful sometimes so i'm gonna turn it on okay border width is the width of the edges when you increase the value as you can see the edges width is expanding okay and then smooth to make the edges smoother feather to make the edges softer and ram it makes the transition of the edges sharper depending on which direction you slide the slider when i slide it to minus 100 as you can see it makes the edges transition sharper and when i slide it to 100 percent it turns like this okay usually i leave it at zero percent Then this adjustments press matte. This is what we are using right now. Is great for selecting hair. It separate the foreground and the background. 
like this foreground to add the selection and background to deselect to deselect the selection feather to make the edges of the selection softer and this is the size of the brush as you see you can make it bigger or smaller okay you can also change the output to selection new layer or new layer with mask i'm gonna go with mask so let's fix the selection for the small details like four you can fix it just by increasing the border width okay i think 30 percent is enough Uh, little tips for you when you fix the selection just use small brush because it's easier okay if you use big brush do it turn out like this okay some part is selected and some part uh, didn't get selected okay so I suggest you to use smaller brush Sometimes you need to keep changing the preview Because we cannot keep using one preview only Sometimes it's easier to use other preview And sometimes we cannot completely remove the color. Okay, I will show you the what I mean later. So I cannot completely remove this red part. Maybe we can fix it using color selection later. After we have finished fixing the selection, click apply. Okay, so as you can see, this is the final result. So that was how to use Rewind Edges or Rewind Mask. Okay, as you can see here, when you zoom in, you can still see the small details. So I remove the background without having to lose the small details. All that is left is to remove this red color that is left okay you can use this select sample color you can watch this video to see how to use this feature okay okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already
and i'll see you guys in the next video